Hello everyone, this is Providencia. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do a come cook with me video with you guys. Now let's make a couple of things clear. This is just a come cook with me video. These are not specific measurements. If there's any links to anything that you see in this dish that is step by step, I'll leave it in the description box below. Also, if I sound funny, I'm so sorry. I have a cold. Yeah. I don't know. I've been getting really sick lately. Like with like colds back to back. I guess it's just the change of weather. One minute is in the 20s. One minute is in the 50s. Y'all know how it is. <laughs> so I'm feeling a little sick. But I said no, 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 no. I have to post this video for my subscribers no ways I can't just keep disappearing like this <laughs> so what I'm gonna be cooking today is some white rice sweet plantains pink beans macaroni salad which I'm not gonna lie I did the macaroni salad separate because I figured the holidays is coming and you know us Spanish people we love to make macaroni salad when it's the holiday so I was like I'm gonna do a separate video for that that video will be coming shortly after this video so be on the lookout for that I also made some curry fried chicken oh my god that chicken was banging <laughs> I can't wait till you guys make it and yeah that's what I made for dinner that day I was just like you know what I'm cooking dinner I haven't done no come cook with me videos in a minute let me do one today and so I did it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give this video a like. Watch it all the way through. It will help my channel grow. And yeah, with that being said, let's start doing this Come Cook With Me video. So the first thing I'm going to do is the meat. Now it would be best if you did this at least three hours before you fry them. Make sure all the flavors come together. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do first. I have chicken breast and I'm going to cut them very, very thin. Now I'm a pro at cutting them thin without me using one of those things to bang your meat and make it flat. No, I know how to do it thin because I've been doing it for years. You do it whichever way you want to do it, but it would be preferable if you did them very thin. You can see I'm showing them to you, showing them how thin they are. And now it's time to season the meat. First, I'm going to add my sofrito. I'm going to add some curry powder and you're going to want to add a lot of curry powder because that's what's going to give it that taste. Next, I'm going to add some onion powder. Black pepper. Parsley. Some oregano. And you guys already know, oregano is my favorite spice. 
I could put a whole bunch of oregano and I feel bad. <laughs> and garlic powder. I would suggest use garlic powder than fresh garlic. With fresh garlic, it's gonna be all over your oil, it's gonna burn, no. And then I'm gonna add this adobo. I'm gonna add some sazon and then I'm gonna make sure that everything blends together mix that baby real real good and here it is nice and seasoned now three hours later I'm gonna start cooking here is my water for me to make my white rice. I am adding salt and making sure that it comes to a boil. While the water is boiling, now I'm gonna go and flour the meat. You don't wanna flour the meat first and then you know what I mean? No, don't do that. Make sure that you're almost close to cooking and then you flour everything. So I'm going to add my eggs and I ended up breaking I believe two more yep there it is I'm trying to remember <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest I think maybe four would have done for the amount of chicken that I had and I'm gonna add some flour. Now, you guys already know that I eyeball everything, so I put two big cucharons of flour. But it could have been a little less, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm also gonna season the flour. I'm adding some oregano. Curry powder. Parsley, garlic powder, black pepper, onion powder, and adobo. And then you're gonna mix it very very well you're gonna want to go and season your flour because you just don't want to season the chicken and then just put it in flour your chicken could be bland no season that flour okay and here it is nice and seasoned now here's my chicken I just took it out of the refrigerator And the first thing you're going to want to do is dip your chicken into the eggs. And then flour them. Make sure you coat it very, very well. As you can see, that's the leftover flour and the eggs. I told you I went a little overboard with the eggs and the flour. As soon as you finish flouring your meat, 
please throw away the flour don't reuse it again as well as the eggs and here is my floured chicken I'm gonna put it aside and when everything is almost about done I'm gonna fry them because this fries very quickly also as you can see right here I reserved some chicken cutlets as well but I didn't flour those I'm gonna put those in the freezer for another day one of those lazy days that I don't feel like cutting meat or cleaning it out or seasoning it up at least I have it in a Ziploc bag all I have to do is thaw it out and I already got dinner mm-hmm that's how I roll I don't got no time I don't got no time for this <laughs> Back to the rice. I already put my rice in there. And as you can see, there's a little too much water, but you guys know I eyeball everything. So I know more or less just by looking at it, if it needs more water or if it has too much water. So yeah, it has too much water. So I'm taking some water out. You're gonna wanna taste the water cause this is your chance to either add more salt if you need more salt. To me it was perfect so I didn't add no salt. Next I'm gonna add some corn oil. Yes I'm adding that much because this is a lot of rice. I usually make at least it could be six, seven, eight cups of rice almost every day <laughs> because my family they eat a lot of rice and they eat twice. Mm -hmm. Yep, you don't understand. Every day is Thanksgiving in my house the way I cook in my house. But anyways, the rice dried up. So now it's time to put it like a mountain or put it in the center. You're going to want to do that because you don't want no sticky rice. Pegao, con con, whichever way you say it, you know, to be on the side of your pot. So as you can see, I'm trying to put it like a mountain, put it in the center. And that's what you're going to want to do when you make any type of rice. I'm going to add aluminum foil, put the lid and put it very low. And it should be done at least like 35, 40 minutes since it's a lot of rice. Next, I'm gonna make my pink beans. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of corn oil because I am making two cans of beans. I'm gonna add sofrito. Make sure you have it on medium low. You don't want this too hot. You don't want your sofrito to burn. You just want to make sure all the flavors are coming together. I have some culantro or recaito, whichever way you call it, or cilantro ancho. Some people say it differently. Everybody says it different. So that's what I have. You could use cilantro. I also have onion and a red pepper. You could use any onion or any pepper of your choice. I'm adding some ham. Now usually I buy ham and then I cut it into pieces and I freeze them. So that's why they look a little hard. But yeah, they were frozen. Oh my God. Ham or bacon in your beans? You don't understand how good your beans come out when you add ham. I'm gonna add my pepper, culantro, and my onion. I'm also going to add some tomato paste. If you have tomato sauce, you can add tomato sauce. And let this simmer for a few minutes. I'm going to add my garlic. You can add as little or as much as you want. Me personally, I love, love, love garlic. Especially when it's fresh. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. After a simmer for a few minutes, add your beans. Make sure it's still low though. And here I am adding the second can of beans. And make sure you mix everything together. Now I have a lot of recipes on beans, rice, everything. I'm gonna leave my Latin cooking playlist down in the description box below. You browse through it and you'll find a whole bunch of recipes there. Next I'm gonna add this bouillon. It's called Calabaza y Jamón by Norse. Oh my God, please buy it. Find it in your Spanish supermarket. Your beans is gonna taste more like ham, for real. I think I like it better than the Goya one. The jamón one is way better, but anyway. Add some black pepper. Ground turmeric. Oregano. Mix everything all up. Now you're gonna wanna taste your beans from time to time while it's, you know, while it's cooking. In case you need to add a little bit more bouillon or any kind of chicken bouillon you use. Just to make sure that it has a great flavor. Next, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice. Don't get scared by it. Trust me, it tastes delicious. My mother-in-law taught me that. At first I was like, what? She's squeezing a piece of lime in there. But and then when I tasted her beans, I was like, oh my God, it is so freaking good. And I've been doing it ever since. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna add my water. Now for these two cans of beans, I did put three and a half cans of water. I add a little bit more water to my beans because Although I'm Puerto Rican all the way, I do not like beans. Oh my God, I know that's weird. <laughs> and my beans be coming out banging, but I don't like beans. The only beans I like is small white beans and gandules. I know, I know. Now, give me some white rice with the broth of the beans. Oh yeah, I I'm gonna eat that. <laughs> so that's why I add a little bit more water. It still tastes very very delicious if you like a lot of broth or a lot of sauce to your beans add a little bit more water So you're gonna wanna taste it now, and I felt like it needed a little bit more of the bouillon, and I added more. At this point, you're gonna wanna put it high and just make sure it gets nice and thick. Now, in this clip, I am preparing my macaroni salad that's gonna be in the next video. So I'm not gonna show you everything, but I'm showing you a little bit here, a little bit there, you know? But the full recipe is gonna be in the next video coming up. So be on the lookout for that. Look at all those beautiful peppers. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. I love looking at peppers. Nice and small, different colors, vibrant. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> I could talk about food all day. <laughs> Next, it's time to fry the chicken. <laughs> 
Also, I have some sweet plantains that I'm going to fry on the other side. But back to the chicken. You're going to want to use some corn oil, canola oil, vegetable oil. If you want to fry it with olive oil, I mean, you can, but oh my God, it's not the same. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to let you know right now. This is not something you eat all the time, but it's just not the same. These cook rather quickly, you know, a few minutes on each side, depending on how crispy you and your family likes it. And yeah. Also make sure that every time you take it out, put it in some paper towels. This chicken is so good. If you do not make it, oh my goodness, I'm going to be very disappointed, okay? Very disappointed if you don't make this for your family. My husband liked this so much that a week later, with the chicken that I had put in the refrigerator, he used my method of the curry and the flour and all that stuff and he did it for me this time. I didn't feel like cooking that day. And he did it just the same way I did it. That's how much he liked it. Okay, so my husband is a foodie. If he liked it, your family's gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Make this for your family. Oh my god, look at that crispy chicken. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna make that this week. I don't know. Yo no sé. <laughs> So now I am checking up on my beans. To me, it's still not thick enough to my liking. It all depends how thick your family likes it. I like it in between. I don't like it too thick, but I don't like it too watery either. But the beans is getting there. Now I had to put the pot of beans in another burner because the other ones were occupied. So at this point, my beans are done and I'm gonna remove the culantro, the onions, and the red pepper. The flavors is already in the beans. You don't need it there. You wanna make sure you have some nice clean beans. So you could throw this away or if you wanna leave it in your beans, you can, but you know, it'll be best to have some nice clean beans. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the lime. You think it's a lot, but it's not. I'm showing you the lime that I used. As you can see, I just cut a little piece of each side, so it's not a lot. That's what you're gonna wanna do. And then, I'm gonna also add a little bit of my garlic sauce. I'm gonna make a separate video on my garlic sauce because I add my garlic sauce to everything and it's very important you guys have it. So I'm gonna add a little bit more towards the very end and I'm gonna cook this for maybe another seven minutes to make sure the garlic, you know, comes together and all that other stuff. But add a little bit of garlic towards the ending, your beans are gonna come out very, very good. And here are the beans. Oh my god. Those beans are really, really good. I know I don't like beans. I don't know why. Since I was a child, I've been like that. But the broth is good. My husband loves my beans. And with the ham in there, it just gives it like an extra kick. Definitely add the ham. So now I'm going to check if my rice is done, which it should be done. And voila, oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful that rice looks. You're going to want to, you know, fluff it up now. 
because you're gonna cook this for another 10 minutes. Put the aluminum foil, put the lid, and leave it there for another 10 minutes. And that is the macaroni salad that you're gonna see on my next video, so be on the lookout for that. Sorry about the phone. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that I'm getting messages right now. Oh my god, another one. That's three. I'm gonna kill my sister! <laughs> but yes, that's the macaroni salad. And you're gonna see that in the next video. Definitely make this for a party, a celebration, a holiday. Your guest is gonna love it. And here is the chicken. I, w I still made more. That wasn't the only chicken I made. I'm just showing it to you. Towards the very end, you're gonna wanna go and cook your sweet platanos. Cause sweet plantains is done very quick. Now I wasn't gonna add this part. I usually add these type of videos to my TikTok, Instagram, so follow me there. All of my social media is in the description box below. But I was like, ah, I'm gonna add it because a lot of people always comment on my plating. And everybody loves the way I plate. <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna show them how it's done. Usually all of my platings is my husband's food. People would think it's me eating like that. No, that's my husband eating like that. So every plating that you see that is beautiful, mm-hmm, that's for my hubby. I also garnish the rice with a little bit of dried parsley. You could also add some dried oregano. You know, the one that looks a little leafy, not the real grounded one, just to make it look pretty. You know I had to add the avocado. No ways. If I don't have no avocado in my plate, the chances are the avocados didn't look good in the supermarket. I didn't like it. Or there was just none in the supermarket. Or it was just too hard. It wasn't ripe. But other than that, I love avocado with every dish that I eat for dinner. Also, I'm going to add some lime to the dish because it's also very good if you squeeze a little bit of that lime juice on the chicken. Oof. Oh my God, heaven. That's all I can say. Try it. Trust me, you're going to thank me. And here is the final dish. My pink beans with the ham. Oh, please make these beans. Make it for your family, make it for yourself, you're gonna love it. Some avocado, the rice. I usually use medium grain rice. You could definitely use long grain, whatever is your preference. Sweet platanos, which is sweet plantains. My macaroni salad that you guys are going to love and lick your fingers, okay? My nice crispy curry chicken. Look at how beautiful that chicken looks. Like, it, it's just beautiful. It's not only beautiful, but it tastes so good. This whole combination is delicious. Please make this for your family. 
With that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video. There is a whole bunch of Come Cook With Me videos in my channel. There's different playlists. Check them out for yourself. Lots of recipes. Check it out for yourself if you're watching for the first time. And yeah, I hope that you check out my channel and that you subscribe. Please give this video a like for that way it could be recommended on YouTube. And be on the lookout for my macaroni salad. Also, I cooked a lot for Thanksgiving. It literally took me three days to cook everything for Thanksgiving. Those recipes are going to be coming very soon to my channel as well. I know we're past Thanksgiving, but I couldn't put it before Thanksgiving. It was this Thanksgiving, so I was recording while I was preparing the food. And those videos should be coming soon. You could definitely utilize some of those recipes for the upcoming holidays, which is Christmas and New Year's. It don't matter. You know, holidays is the holidays. And yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. God bless. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.